Welcome to my channel, Custom Scrapbook Design by Christy Stubbs, and welcome to another installment of my Scrap and Saturday series. Also, welcome to Saturday Morning Makes. Uh, Saturday Morning Makes is hosted by Jillian Norwood, and it is an open collaboration for any crafter or creator to participate in, and you want to just check out the hashtag sat morn makes and it'll take you to all of the videos being uploaded by all of the other creators and be sure to check them out and subscribe to their channels they've got some great content out there so today i am going to be bringing you a two-page layout and i am using simple stories simple vintage essentials and i've got some of the ephemera pieces here I've got the sticker um, book here as well and then I also have got some papers and some of these are some scraps from some other projects or last week's project even and then I did get some full sheets of the rest you can find all of this stuff all of these products linked below on my website I am going to use the limited edition I love this alphabet on here so I kind of want to do something with this for the layout I do have a little bit of an idea what I want to do as far as pictures which is highly unusual for me but I do have my photo mats already cut and labeled and I've got one two three three by fours two four by fours and two four by sixes this Saturday, I really wanted to create a layout that would hold quite a few pictures. So that is my um, challenge to be met today. So we're going to start by just cutting off the branding strip off of our two base pages. And they are going to match, which I tend to like to match my two page spreads. Very rarely do I change it up and um, use different papers but I'm also going to use this polka dot one and this one is the take note and on the other side is the typewriters I'm anxious to do something with those as well so I'm going to just cut the branding strip off of this one as well and then I'm going to cut this one in half And my plan is to bring that across the middle of both pages. However, on the first page, or the left-hand one, I don't want to go all the way across. I want more of these, these letters to show. So I'm going to cut roughly two inches off of that. We'll start there and see how that lays out. So we'll start with two inches. We may come back and trim off a little more. And then I thought this ruler piece was fun. This is authentic. And then on the back side, we've got the tans with the numbers, but we're gonna use this ruler side. So we're gonna go ahead and cut the branding strip off of that. And then I think what I want to do is cut these rulers kind of apart into separate little sections. So I'm just going to go through and cut several strips just following the lines that are already there. And maybe even like I've got the black and white one up next and I'm going to cut those together that uh, white one's rather thin which would work as well but I think I'm going to keep a couple of them kind of doubled up just to be to give a little variation I think that might be kind of a fun way to do that so I've cut about half of that I think we'll stop there and um, we'll see what we end up with there so I've got quite a few strips of the rulers and then I had also pulled this ticket piece we might save that till last and then I just had a scrap 
of the back, and I thought we might use the back side of that. Not really sure yet. We may come back to it. But for now, we want to take and put our base pages down side by side. And then we've got our full sheet of polka dots on the right side and then a half a sheet or three quarters of a sheet on the left side here. And I'm wanting my pictures on this side to actually lay out something like this. So I think we've got about the right amount. I don't think we want to trim any more than that off of there. All right. Set those aside again. And then I think we're going to take the rulers And I'm not sure if I'll line it. This I haven't really thought through how I'm going to line these up. But I kind of just thought maybe a little bit about layering them going across the bottom just to kind of add a fun little element, maybe like so. And then we would cut that off and then do something, another set of them on the other side. And then we may even end up with, maybe we'll do that top and bottom. So I think we might do that. So in anticipation of doing that, I think we'll cut some more of that ruler paper. We'll just go ahead and finish cutting that all the way across and then we've got all the ruler pieces ready to go in case we need them. And then we've got a thin one here. I should have maybe put that with the other one. I think it'll be nice to have several different uh, widths of the rulers. I think that'll make it a little fun to work with. And that last one, last one's the hard one to cut. Hold it in place. And to try and get it straight. All right. There. So, I'm kind of liking the idea of maybe going across the top with that as well. And the only thing that you kind of want to think about doing is making sure to like spread out the different colors so that you end up with different colors all along the page. And I actually might cut that little piece off of there. That's a really wide one. Maybe a thin one up on top there. So I'm just trying to vary the colors and also vary the widths. All right, and we need one going across the bottom here. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and start trimming some of these. And I think on this left hand side I don't think I want the rulers going past I think I'm basically gonna want them to start at the edge and then just kind of gradually go back 
So easiest way that I would do this, I mean, you can measure, that works as well, but as you all know, I don't love to measure. So I'm just gonna make a little tick mark on the back and then I'm gonna trim this next one and I'm just gonna make another little tick mark on the back of that one and then on the back of that one as well. So we're just gonna cut those And they don't have to be exact. There is no exact science to this. All right, let's see how that came out and of course we're just kind of previewing everything I'm gonna have to put that middle piece down first and then we'll build off of that and I realize I've got them a little bit crooked but that's okay we're just just previewing it so I don't want to spend a lot of time making sure it's all exact. I, I like the way that that turned out. So I like to ink everything as well. And for this project, I am going to use my black soot. I think I want a little bit of a darker inking on there. And we're not going to need to ink the bottom or the top of this page. We really just need to ink the ends. And then like these rulers here, we don't really need to do all of the bottom of them either. We just need to come around the bottom a little ways and ink those. So I think we'll get these pieces inked so we can put those down and then we can start with this piece as well, this bottom set of rulers. I'm gonna go ahead and ink those so we can get those put in place as well and then we'll be able to move forward. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get this side down. And I'm gonna turn it sideways and I am gonna line it up on my grid here to try and get that somewhat lined up. And we need to go three inches because this is six. We have six left. So right there is gonna be our three inch mark. I'm not concerned about getting it perfect. I just wanna get it somewhat close and I'm just gonna put a little tape on here and not really adhere it down super strong because I may be tucking some stuff underneath as we go so here's our first ruler piece again I'll probably tack it down a little bit more after we get everything in place. But for now, I'm just gonna line that up on that row of dots and hope that that's straight. And then we're gonna go ahead and line up the second one and hope that I inked far enough and I sure did. And I'm just gonna barely overlay that, like just a smidge. That looks straight. And then we're gonna do the last ruler. And again, I'm just barely gonna overlay that on that ruler as well. And then we're gonna kind of check this out and see if I got everything 
lined up and it looks like I'm crooked. Definitely, definitely crooked. Okay. it a little too far. And I may have cut one of my rulers slightly crooked too, so we're just going to adjust that slightly. Let's take a look. That looks pretty good. Okay, again, I'm not gonna worry about making sure this is all nice and flat just yet. I will at the end. We may tuck some stuff in there. So there's the bottom portion. Now I'm basically just gonna do the same thing, going all the way across the top, and then I'm gonna just duplicate that on the other side as well. So. That one I'm going to start on the very edge, and this one I think I'm going to cut off this little bit and just use this gray section here, and that will work, and then we'll use this white one up on top of there. So we'll just cut that off. And then I'm also going to cut just Oh, maybe a quarter of an inch off of that end. We're going to save that. We might use that piece somewhere else. And then, again, I'm going to do my good old pencil mark to determine where to cut that one. We'll line that one up. And then, and then we're going to line this one up. This one's going to go right in here. And so we're, I'm just going to go along and do the same thing on the other page too. And I'm just going to speed that up because you can recreate that pretty easily by following just what I did on this bottom one and then I did show you this top one again as well need to ink these and then we'll put those in place and then we'll do the other side and then I'll come back <laughs> We've got our rulers all in place and what I had thought I was going to do with that ticket piece of paper I think I'm going to actually skip that because I think that this layout is not going to require a whole lot more stuff I think we better put our photo mats on and then we can do a little bit of embellishing around those 
So I'm going to pull my photo mats back out. And I went with black. And I had kind of tentatively set the photo mats up to lay on here something like this. And again, remember I mentioned I wanted to try and get as many pictures on here, kind of kind of fill it up with pictures a, a little bit. So I feel like we're able to do that with the layout the way that it is, and we're not hiding all of the decorating we just we just did, and we can do a little more with some stickers and some ephemera. So let's go ahead and put the photo mats in place. And again, I've got two four by six photo mats, two four by four, and three three by fours. And I'm gonna pull that in just a little bit to get more of this polka dot on the side. Okay, so I like the way that that looks. And then we had these extra little pieces of the measuring tapes, and I think we might actually utilize those in a few spots. Maybe tuck them, you know, underneath the picture. Let's take a look at what we've got for stickers. We've got all these different sayings. We could put a title on there somewhere if we want to. Um, we've got the, the little keyboard stickers so we could make our own title. And let's take a look at what I've got left from the sticker, The Good Life. I like that. So maybe Maybe we'll use the good life on here. Let's go ahead, cut the word yes off. And then let's determine where we wanna put that. I do have a few of the rub-ons left as well. And I actually think we might put this up in this corner We've got the alphabet over here that would pull some of the alphabet over to this side. And let's see what else I've got here. I've got just kind of a little hodgepodge left of some different things that I had done from a previous project. I do like the bingo cards. I don't want to cover up that alphabet though. And I keep wanting to add over there. But maybe we will add a bingo card down to the in the corner. And I kind of like the gray one. Kind of like the black too, because once you put a picture on that four by six, once you put a picture on that four by six, for example, all oh, those are smaller than four by six.
Okay, so for example, if we put a picture on there like that, we can have that bingo card raised up. So let's raise up that bingo card. First, we're going to ink it. And then we're gonna use some foam tape and lift that up. And we wanna just generally leave this corner, this corner here. I'm gonna just pencil that. We kinda wanna leave this corner free from the foam tape so that a photo can slide nicely on that photo mat underneath the bingo card. So we'll do a row of foam tape here and a row here and we're going to go over like this. And I think that's it. Just run one more right here. Okay. Looks like I need to clean my glue bottle. There we go, so now you can just slide your photo right in under that bingo card. Fits perfectly. All right, and we'll do the good life up here. We're gonna add a little bit of the rub-ons here. I do have another little section of rub-ons too, so we might Let's see, I actually think we'll use these ones because I feel like they um, match the alphabet that we've got there already. And it looks like we're really only gonna need to use like that portion right there. So we'll rub that on. And I just cut the size that I wanted off of there and then set it where I want it. And then I take my burnishing tool and you just give it a really good burnish. You can kind of hear it, feel it, kind of tell that it's rubbing on. You can kind of see it, um, but just give it a good rub. And then when you think you've got it, then you're just going to slowly lift that up 
and make sure you've got all parts down. And if you do that slowly, you can see maybe where you maybe didn't get some of it rubbed all the way and you still have the opportunity to go back and press a little harder and work on getting the rest of that rub off where you want it. So there, we've got a little bit of the alphabet up in this corner. I kinda think I should have, before I put that down, maybe added a little bit of the ribbon down here. Let's see. Just to kind of go with what we've already got on that other side. So I think I'm going to just cut this little bit out. I just want a little. It's not real not real legible, but we'll just put a little bit down because then it'll coordinate with the far corner of the other page. And that is really all I need for that. And let's go ahead and put this Good Life foam sticker down. Glue bottle's not cooperating. We'll just add a touch of glue to the sticker. It's not even, probably not even necessary. I just do it, just as a precaution. So, the good life. Let's get it straight. Okay. And then, okay. So now I think what I'm gonna do is just take and ink these little pieces of the ruler that are cutoffs. And I'm just gonna randomly place them in between the photo mats. I think the white's gonna show up super well up there so I may even just add that white right to the bottom of this one here Okay, and then we've got this tan piece here we could add right where it was at. We'll ink it and put it back under there. Okay. All right. And it looks like maybe let's take a peek at our other pieces we have here. this loving my life I'm going to ink 
around it real quick just to get rid of that white edge. And then we're going to put this up on foam. We're going to add that just down in this corner here. And then I do have a couple hearts as well. And I think I'll ink those and maybe stick a couple hearts right here. And then we might use some of these as well. Here's a few more hearts. See which ones we like. And again, I know this looks a little plain right here, but I kind of like it. Um, I wanted to be able to see the alphabet. Well, we might add this floral right here. Could add the floral right here as well. Add a butterfly there. Dragonfly up there. And then I think that we'll add a few of the add a few of the enamel dots. And honestly, I I think that's it. Like I don't think that this layout necessarily needs any more. I think it looks good the way that it is. So let's ink these and hook them down and we're going to put this on foam tape and we're only going to foam tape right on the middle section so that the photos again can tuck underneath there. So I'm actually going to put the foam tape right on the page. And then there's no doubt as to where it needs to go. And we won't hinder any of the photos by doing it this way. All right, and then we're going to ink the butterfly. And then I'm going to curl, curl up the wings. And we're going to put some foam tape underneath that.
ink this floral. We're going to foam tape this part up. Just gonna tape the bottom half because we're gonna tuck that in. And then we'll ink our dragonfly. And I'm going to bend the wings on the dragonfly as well. And just a little bit of foam tape on the body. I'm going to use a thinner piece. Okay, now we'll ink those hearts, and I think we'll do three of them. I think that would be perfect right there. I just want to hit the edges of them. They'll stand out just a little bit better. We're just going to glue those down. They don't need much glue. As long as I get them on right, we'll be good. All right, got the three hearts on. And then let's just add some of the enamel dots. I'm gonna add a few here, and I think I'll add a few maybe down here. So let's just add like three of them. Got a lot of glue coming out of there. Got the three there, and then I think we'll put them on the bottom of the other page. Need to glue this little corner down, doesn't want to stay down, I bent it. There we go. And I think we'll use this same color.
Okay, so we've got the three down there. Let's get some of this extra mess out of the way and take a good look at this and see if we're done or if we need to add any more stuff to it. I think I'm liking the simpler look of that. Okay. I am loving this. I think that this is good just the just the way it is we're going to leave it as is so there is another two page layout for my scrap and saturday series if you stuck with me till the end i appreciate you hanging with me and watching and if you haven't subscribed already i would absolutely love it if you'd subscribe to my channel and then you'll be notified as i upload new content I will be putting a new video up every Saturday for my Scrap and Saturday series and partaking in the hashtag SatMornMakes. Be sure to check all of them out. If you love this collection like I do, I've got it linked below. I have a website full of supplies and I'd love it if you check that out as well. So have a happy Saturday everyone and I hope you find a little time to create today. Bye for now.